Morning, another day. Gonna get some work done on the uh, horse trailer. I'll just show you, I built a headboard over the weekend and also a small uh, electrical sort of area to wire all the electrical stuff into. So here's the headboard here. It's got a couple of patch covers that drop in here. For storage underneath. And that will just slide into the front of the horse trailer when it's done. Oh, climbing in here. This is the this is the electrical box I built. So this is actually going to go on the wall over here, and the uh, switch mounts and so on will be here. On here will be the fuses and also the fuse box. And I put a small hole on the other side just for oh, storage from the from the bed side. So once the walls go in, that's going to mount on there. So this morning. I'm going to get all this stained up. I even get our floor in and we're going to finish furring out our walls for putting the uh, wall board in. Don't have too much to go for that. And uh, that'll be, that'll probably be about it for today. So I used a Minwax semi-transparent gray stain for this. The roller puts it into place nicely and then use a clean cloth to wipe off the excess. I used two and a half inch standard plywood to put on the aluminum struts of the interior of the trailer and self-tapping screws. They hold them into place well and when I put on my exterior plywood I'll just use a brad nailer to fasten into the wood. I used some PL500 construction adhesive on the aluminum floor and plywood to hold the subfloor into place. So this floor uh, comes in 12 by 24 and what I've done is laid the first row in there of three 24s and cut the next one to be 12 by 12 and I'll start laying it across here. And then we will stagger those center joints that are in there and keep it nice and tight. So this is a good floor. Uh, it's got a black and gray marble pattern on and a little bit of rubber backing on it. I'm going to use a little bit of PL300, as you can see, just dabbed on there, just to hold it in place. If it does get wet and uh, needs to get torn out, it won't be too difficult to do. This is a good quality floor and quite easy to install. A couple of the corner pieces were tough to get into place, but using a pry bar and a block, I was able to snap them in. I used the cartons that were still full to hold the floor down while the glue set up. The next step of this will be to install the cabinets. <laughs> 